a history of Christmas tree lights on the internet. 2004 was a really big year for Christmas lights on the web. This was back in the day before Facebook and Twitter and even before much video worked online. The star of the web was Alec and his controllable Christmas light show. Reportedly with wireless X10 cameras, Alec had set up a webcam and a website with buttons to turn his Christmas lights on and off via the internet. The novelty was a real hit at the time. The idea that anyone could hit a website and change something in the real world was finally put to greater use than artistic torture. The site was so cool it even got slash dotted. For those noobs who don't know, Slashdot used to be so popular during a time when internet traffic was so consolidated that a story mentioned in Link would often cause sites to instantly crash from congestion. Alex's controllable Christmas tree lights were adored by geeks and the mainstream alike. But then it came out that the controllability was a hoax. At one point while doing a helicopter story for ABC Denver, Alec even had his wife on the ground flipping switches at pre-designated times to appear as if he was actually controlling them. People were pretty let down, but Alec didn't let that stop him. The following year, Mr. Alec Kormanitsky saved face and put up a real system. People were skeptical, but adding his children's celiac disease to the agenda was enough to draw the needed sympathy to let bygones be bygones and enjoy the fun. People went on to trigger the lights through each year, even though today the site would never become as popular. In 2005, Alec was upstaged by Carson Williams from Mason, Ohio. Carson sequenced his house lights to a tune by the Trans-Siberian Orchestra and went on to enjoy one of the biggest viral videos of the year. The meme went on to attract international media attention, to the delight of people all around the web. An electrical engineer, Carson spent months and over $10,000 sequencing a light around the light board to control over 25,000 individual lights. Traffic to see the lights in real life was stopped throughout the neighborhood as people traveled from all around the world just to see it firsthand. So neighbors weren't disturbed by the constant noise, viewers driving by the house could tune into a low-powered FM radio signal broadcast to hear the musical accompaniment. Carson was even visited by the Trans-Siberian Orchestra themselves, while Miller Lite made a commercial of the spectacle before the holidays neared their end. Unfortunately, a traffic accident led to the desire to discontinue the display. Today, five years later, you can see people have done many, many versions. Sequencing kits have even become popular, so you can set this kind of display up without extensive knowledge. We've also seen some real feats of passion find its way on the net with vids and pics. Let's have a look. What will next year's Christmas lights bring?